on what's happening guys welcome to your ninth mongo db for beginners tutorial and in this video i'm going to show you how we can drop collections okay so we saw in the last lesson that when we opened up our database in robo mongo we had these four marios that were saved to the database and every time we run that test it's creating a new mario and just dunking it in this database so now we've got multiple instances of a Mario character with the same properties and this could cause us some problems when we run further tests and try new things out with MongoDB. For example, if we have a test which searches the database for a Mario character with these properties, then it's always going to pass regardless of any other test we've done. So all of these dudes are going to be skewing the test that we perform in the future. So what's the solution? Well, ideally what we want to do is clean up the database collection before every test that we run so that each test can run independently without influence of the other tests. So the way we can do that is by dropping the collection. And by that, I mean deleting the contents of the collection before every separate test we run. And we can do that using a mocker hook. So we've already seen one mocker hook, uh, hook so far, and that was this thing right here before. And that said to Mocha, look, before you do anything, I want you to run this once, okay? And then we connect it to the database. And then we told Mocha when we were done by passing the done parameter there and then using the done method there so then it can move on to do the tests. But what we could do if we wanted is to run another hook to say, look, I want you to do something else before the tests as well. And we don't want to do this just once before all the tests. We want to actually do this every time before every single test. So basically what we want to do is empty the database before every single test so that every single test can run in isolation. Make sense? So that's what we want to do. So instead of just before, this time what we want is before each. So I'm going to do a little comment and I'm going to say drop the characters collection before each test and whenever you hear this drop when you say you drop a collection or you drop a database it just means you delete it that's what it means okay so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna use the before each hook right so this is gonna say to mocker okay I want to run this code inside here before every single test not just once this is running just once but this one is going to run before every single test. So we're going to empty that database out before every single test so that each test can run in isolation. So how do we do this? Well, let's just pop a little comment there, drop the collection, just so this is all nice and clear. Dead simple to drop a database. Using mongoose, we can say mongoose.connection.collections, and this right here, references all the collections we have in our database so right now it's just mario cars right or mario characters so we'll say dot mario cars and that references the mario cars collection notice here that this is plural right remember mongoose pluralizes our model our collection right here because it assumes that we're going to have more than one record in it so it makes sense to pluralize it and that's how we refer to it here so that is going to give us the Mario characters collection. Then what we want to do is drop that collection. So we say dot drop. OK, cool. That is how you drop them. Now, this is an asynchronous request. Remember when we save something to the database, it said that it's going to start. It's going to take maybe a second or so to complete that action and return to us. OK, it's the same with dropping. It's going to go off. It's going to delete the contents of the database and then come back and say, yeah, it's done. So what we want to do is apply a callback function when it's dropped the database then we do something so we'll say function and in here i want to tell mocker that now we've done we've dropped the collection now you can perform the test how do we do that well we've done it twice already it's using this thing right here this done thing so we're going to pass it through here as well done and then down here in this function this callback function we're going to say now we're done now you can run the tests. So let's save this and let's run the test to make sure everything has worked as we would expect. So I'm going to say npm run test. 
And cool, there we go. It's passed the test. You can see that by the big green tick there. But what we really want to check is that we've dropped the collection. So let's check out RoboMongo. And I'm just going to double click on Mario Cars again. And now we just see the one. And you might be thinking, well, hang on, we dropped the collection. So why is the one there? But let me run you through this again. So we've connected, then we start our tests, right? Now we're seeing here before each test is run. So before we do any of the tests, before anything here, we're running this, yeah? And we're going to the collection and we're saying drop the collection. Then we're saying done, move on to the test. So then we move on to the test. And this is the only test we have at the minute. And in the test, we create a new character and then save it. And that's it, then it's saved to the database, which is why we see one there. This drop method right here, that's not run again because we've not got another test to run. And this only runs before each test, make sense? So if we had another test, then this would run again and drop the database again before that test so that we have an empty database again for that test to work in, okay? So there we go, that is dead simple. That is how we drop a collection from MongoDB.